here trying to be productive girly baddie, right? Next thing you know, I feel sad out of nowhere. What is that? I didn't register at first what was happening. There was one time I was fasting and praying, right? And I was falling asleep, okay guys? As I was falling asleep, I saw something. I saw like literally like the enemy use that inconvenience to get me so mad. And the thing is like, I was on my way to church too. And it was just like, girl, why are you so tight? And now I'm sitting in the, the car trying to fix my face. Welcome back to those of you who come back. It's your girl with another video. On this channel, I produce transformative faith-based content. And the goal is to push you and inspire you on your walk with Christ Jesus. On this channel, it's all about transformation. It's all about growth. And it's all about Jesus because we love Jesus here. And Jesus is the thing. All right. So last week on my channel, I talked about demonic arrows. All right. So if you guys haven't watched that video yet, just click up there and go back and watch the video so you can have more context as to what am I talking about this week. Okay. So this week I'm going to talk about different types of demonic arrows. Last week we talked about what are demonic arrows? Why do they come? In fact, let us recap. So last week we had two key verses. We had John 10 and 10. The enemy comes to kill, steal, and destroy. That lets you know why demonic arrows come. Because they come to steal your faith. They attempt to kill your destiny. They attempt to destroy you. Because that is what the enemy does. That is his sorry profession. Okay? The second scripture we also use was Psalm 91 and 5. It says, You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day. That lets us know that there are different type of arrows that come against the people of God. All right. So we talked about last time. Why do they come? They come to discourage, delay, distract, destroy. And we understand that an arrow is an attempt of the enemy to penetrate and attack your soul. Why? Because it's only so close that the enemy can come to you because you are a child of God. There's a verse, um, a scripture that says the angels of the Lord camp around the righteous, right? So it's only so close that the enemy can get to you. So guess what he has to do? He has to try to shoot an arrow from afar to see if he can cause you to be vulnerable enough for him to then get on the ground and get closer to you. So the attempt is to make you vulnerable in your soul, man, right? He tries to attack the soul, which is made of the mind, the will, and emotions in order to open the door for full on invasion. Okay. So this is some real demonic tactic, real demonic strategies that we're talking about here. And today we're going to talk about the different ways, the different methods that he uses to shoot his fiery darts at the beloved. Okay. So the first type of arrow that gets sent to the people of God is an arrow towards your thoughts. Remember I said the soul is made of the mind, will, and emotions, right? So one of the parts of the soul is the mind. So this is an attack on the mind. It comes through thoughts. It comes through lustful thoughts, depression, doubt, fear, worry, low self-esteem, a whole bunch of what is, right? So these are an attempt of the enemy to attack your way of thinking. And we understand as a man thinketh, so is he. So if your mind is constantly being hit by demonic arrows, it's going to be very difficult for you to do what it is that God wants you to do because the enemy keeps attacking you with fear. And we understand that fear paralyzes the people, right? It paralyzes you and it stops you from doing what it is that God wants you to do. So God could be telling you to move forward or God could be telling you um, to move from where you are, you know, travel, go down to Canada or I mean up to Canada or down to Florida, whatever. God could be telling you to move and you don't want to move because of the, the arrows of fear and doubt and worry. And it's also comes in the form of shame, rejection, right? This is one that I've dealt with personally. The arrows of rejection, they come as a thought. Actually, let me let me just insert this here. There was one time I was fasting and praying, right? And I was falling asleep, okay guys? As I was falling asleep, I saw something. I saw like literally like thoughts being projected into my mind. And then that's when I realized, hmm, so this thing is real. The enemy really does send thoughts to you. He can project certain thoughts into your head. And oftentimes we will take it as our own, but we don't see that it's a projection, right? And so one thing the enemy would like to do is he like to project whispers and voices into our minds of rejection. Oh, people don't like you and, and nobody wants to be around you. And he'll talk to you and he'll beat you down. And a lot of people who struggle with low self-esteem struggle with this as well. They struggle with these constant arrows that are being sent to their mind. 
mind that then affects their emotions and it affects the way they act. And it's just this vicious cycle that started with one arrow towards the mind, right? Because the enemy is trying to destroy that person. So he's attacking their esteem. He's attacking their mind. And so oftentimes we get a lot of bad thoughts, um, low self-esteem thoughts through the mind. Also, another form of it is lustful thoughts, right? If you guys remember, I did some videos on lust on my channel. Check it out. I'll link it into the video. But a lot of times he'll come through lustful thoughts, right? right? He'll come through daydreams, right? He'll come through dreams, right? Sometimes you'll have a dream and you'll wake up and then your whole day is ruined, right? Because of the image that was projected to you in your dream. So sometimes it'll come in the form of a dream. Other times it'll come in the form of daydreaming. There's a lot of people that talk against maladaptive daydreaming because it's really not okay. It's really not good. It's open grounds for the enemy to come and attack your mind and plant stuff in you, right? Because if you could gain ground on the territory of your mind, then your whole entire body is gonna follow suit right your actions are gonna follow suit all right so these are the different ways that the arrows hit our thoughts okay so we have to be very very careful and guard what it is that we're watching what it is that we're entertaining what it is that we're listening to the different thoughts that are popping up in our head don't just accept every single thought as your own because oftentimes it's not yours all right so the second thing that we find is the arrow towards your emotions all right so there was a time I was actually sitting down I think I talked about it in the last video I was just sitting down minding my business everything was okay I'm over here trying to be productive girly baddie right let's say you know I feel sad out of nowhere what is that I didn't register at first what was happening I was just like yo this is this is sad and I started thinking about my current circumstances and then I went to sleep I wasted the whole entire day until later on God is showing me no babe that was an arrow that was sent to you right that was a demonic arrow because the enemy sees you trying to be productive he sees you trying to do your schoolwork. He sees you doing your best to get better grades. He sees you showing up at work, doing your best, trying to be the best uh, at your field. He sees you trying to be diligent and obey what God is telling you to do, right? And so what he tries to do then is send an arrow to attack your emotions. What is that? That's like um, making you feel like you're not receiving anything from what you're planting, right? Oh, I've been doing this for God knows how long and nothing's happening. They're not promoting me. No one's looking at me. Nobody's seeing me. Nobody's acknowledging me. Nobody's encouraging me. So then we get all up in our feelings, right? And we don't understand at the moment that it's happening because it's already, it already hit us, right? So we're sitting there in the emotions and guess what happens? Like I said, arrows are meant to make you vulnerable for a stronger attack. So once you sit there and you give way to the emotions, then the enemy can come with stronger attacks. Then he can get you to go back into different sins that you left, right? He gets, he gets to come and make you go backwards while you're supposed to be going forward but because he was able to hit you in the area of your emotions now he's able to make you go backwards and some of us that includes those of you who had ex-boyfriends or ex-friends ex-best friends etc etc god told you to stop talking to this person god separated you from this person for a reason but here you go because you felt that arrow of loneliness now all of a sudden you're back on their phone you're back on their line you now trying to link up you now trying to talk forgetting the reason why you cut communication with this person in the first place why? because the enemy wants to be able to come and infiltrate your space right and that's going to lead me to the second arrow which is the arrow of relationships okay oftentimes the enemy will send arrows in the form of relationships we hear this all the time okay bad friends bad boyfriends bad girlfriends bad 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 relationships that come to destroy and derail your destiny and oftentimes the people in these relationships are not typically evil to the core some of them are evil some of them are just not good people others however are just wounded people and the thing is the enemy loves using wounded people take it from me somebody who knows the enemy loves to use wounded people to destroy other people right and that's the reason why it's so important to go through a journey of healing and growth so that you won't be used as an uh, a weapon against another believer right and so oftentimes it'll come in the form of relationships the 
distractions or the enemy will cause you to turn a person into an idol which would definitely delay your 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 destiny because then you got a problem with God the minute you turn someone into an idol now it's you and God got beef and then you got to be sat down in some type of wilderness and that's just not what we want we don't need we don't have time to waste years being corrected by God just because we want to turn people into idols right so another way that the enemy uses relationships is their mouth oftentimes the enemy will go through the mouth of somebody to say things to you that will hurt you that will destroy you that will hinder you that will discourage you I remember this one time I was in church and I was sitting next to somebody that I called my friend and I was just that girl that was kind of like hype with the things of God and I remember standing up a little too early when they called for the scripture so I stood up and everybody was sitting down the girl was sitting next to me she was looking at me like you do too much like she was so embarrassed that I stood up and I remember just feeling so like weird I'm just like oh my gosh like I really did that she totally embarrassed me and if I really would have sat and dwelled on it it would have made me feel bad for being excited for the things of God but in reality it was just the enemy using that person to destroy my fire for God it was the enemy using that person to kind of like you know put me down and it's not to say that the person innately is evil it's just to say the enemy likes to use wounded people if you're somebody who's wounded you are just free game like you are free easy access because the enemy can go through the wounds and your emotions to hurt other people right so another form is misunderstandings oftentimes with a lack of communication you can get hurt now all of a sudden you 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 weak on the battlefield because now you have to go through the process of forgiving someone because they offended you another form is bullying I talked about that testimony on my channel being bullied the, the enemy used that as a demonic arrow to get to me at an early age so these are different ways that the enemy will try to destroy your destiny the arrow that comes through your relationships which is the reason why you have to be very careful with who you enter relationships with and you have to be very careful not to idolize or give these relationships too much power over you okay so the last arrow we're going to be talking about is the arrow of inconveniences oh my goodness i could tell y'all about this i just yesterday i was so pissed off because one of my cousins did something that pissed me off it was an inconvenience to me but it didn't have to get me that upset you know what I'm saying I was just upset because of my own little stuff but that just showed me how the enemy used that inconvenience to get me so mad and the thing is like I was on my way to church too and it was just like girl why are you so tight and now I'm sitting in the, the car trying to fix my face and you know when you get mad you stay mad like I don't know if you're that type of person I'm the type of person when I get mad I be staying mad and I be feeling like low-key ashamed to like stop being mad <laughs> so I'm just like <laughs> just trying to like fix myself up but anyways that's an arrow inconveniences little inconveniences or here's another one things that just stop working for absolutely no reason right um oftentimes the enemy sees you advancing in what it is that God is calling you to do he will start trying to touch different things to make you just stop trying right certain things is God blocking you other things is the enemy and his little minions trying to make things hard and difficult for you so that she won't continue to do it because if the enemy knows that you have to go to med school to be able to help pull your family out of what your family is in he's going to put every little inconvenience that he can find that application website don't work oh you didn't have the money oh you had the money but you didn't go to the bank on time because your dad took the car this that and all these inconveniences to block you stop you and discourage you because he knows that that's gonna bring you a step closer right because I told you he cannot get all up in your grill all he could do is try to keep attacking that soul of yours by throwing his arrows against you but now what does that let us know that brings us back to the scripture we had last video two Thessalonians, Thessalonians, two Thessalonians three and three it says but the Lord is faithful and he will strengthen you and protect you from the evil one and in the last song that we had it says that you will not fear the arrows that come by day all right you will not fear the arrows that come by night right so the arrows that the enemy sends us they can hurt they can be inconvenient but they cannot take us out they simply strengthen us because God lets us know that he gives strength 
to those who are weary. And he lets us know those who wait upon the Lord, he shall renew their strength and they shall mount up on wings like that of an eagle. They can bother you. They can tire you because the scripture even says, even the young become weary and they, they, they get tired and they faint. But those who wait upon the Lord, right? He shall renew their strength because that lets us know that despite the fact that the enemy will keep trying to choop, choop, choop at us, guess what? We have a solution that I'm going to talk about in the next video. Make sure you come back for the solution because God lets us know exactly what we can do against these arrows, right? So we must understand that God will send us help against the enemy and no temptation has overcome us that is not common to all men. God will always send help. God will always give you a way. God will always strengthen you and help you because he is the good shepherd. So I hope this was able to bless you the different types of demonic arrows if I missed out on one, feel free to comment below to help the other people that are also watching this video and discuss different types of um, examples of demonic arrows that you find in your life. So thank you guys. If you have finished watching the video, you are a trooper. Until next time, I'm going to see you next time.